Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the Google Pixel phone lineup. First up, you can see we got the Google Pixel 4a. Next, we have the Google Pixel 4a with 5G, followed by the Google Pixel 5. If you're interested in any of the items that you see here, the links to them will be in the video description below. Let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Let's look at each device and compare them to each other. So here are all the devices. You can see we have the Pixel 4a right here in black, followed by the Pixel 5 in Sword of Sage, and the Pixel 4a with 5G in black as well. Very similar design, guys. They all follow the same pattern right here, right? So we have our camera module, fingerprint sensor, and then the Google logo. These have the same camera modules. This one is missing the additional wide angle lens. So you can get a feel for that. Very similar in size right here. Very similar length. The Pixel 5, I believe, is a little bit wider than the Pixel 4a. If we set that on there, you can see the difference right there, a little bit wider. And then the Pixel 5, I believe, is nearly the same width as the Pixel 4a with 5G. Pixel 4a with 5G might be a little bit wider than the Pixel 5. And again, it's definitely taller than both of these devices. You can see that. Let's turn them over, guys. We can look at the screens too. So the Pixel 4a is my wife's daily driver. The Pixel 5 is still my daily driver. The Pixel 5 has a larger screen than the Pixel 4a, and the Pixel 4a with 5G has a larger screen than the Pixel 5. So same layout and placement too with our camera in the top left-hand corner. Nice cutout in the screen. Love the bezel-less design there with the screen. Basically going to the edge. So you can get a feel for that. Now let's look at them from the side. They follow the same pattern again right here. So if we line up all the devices, you can see from the side, we have our power button with our different color accents. So it looks like we got, you know, sort of sage-ish for the Pixel 4a, but it's not the exact color. Nice chrome accent and the power button for the Pixel 5. Then you can see the purplish color for the 4a with 5G. But same button layout and placement for all the devices on this side. We can look at them from the top, pretty big differences here. So the 4A has a headphone jack, the Pixel 5 does not. The 4A with 5G does have a headphone jack. Let's look at them from the other side. You can see our SIM tray. Now we can look at them from the bottom. So the 4A 5G, Pixel 5, and then the Pixel 4A all have the same speaker cutouts and our USB type C. Now, if we look at the back again one more time, the Pixel 5 has wireless charging where the Pixel 4a devices do not. Now let's go ahead, let's go over the tech specs. So on the screen, we have all the Pixel specs right here for the Pixel 4a, the 4a with 5G, and the Google Pixel 5. So first, let's look at the Pixel 4a. You can see for the display, we have 5.8 inches, full HD+, plus OLED, 60 hertz. Gonna be the same display on the Pixel 4a with 5G, except we're picking up a larger screen size on the 4A with 5G. In regards to the Pixel 5 display, you can see it falls perfectly in between the 4A with 5G and the 4A at six inches, but we pick up a much higher refresh rate. Next, in regards to processing power, you can see the 5 and the 4A with 5G use the exact same Snapdragon 765G. You can see the speeds and performance of those processors. They're similar to each other. So it's using the same processing power versus the Pixel 4a, only using the 730G. Next, you can see the memory and storage all come with 128 gigabytes of built-in storage, but the Pixel 5 has two extra gigs of RAM versus the 4a and the 4a with 5G. Next, we have cameras. So we have the same camera module on the Pixel 5 and the Pixel 4a with 5G, but the Pixel 4a only gets one rear facing camera, we lose the 16 megapixel ultra wide, unfortunately. I love the ultra wide camera and the photos that the Pixel 5 and the 4A with 5G take. Then you can see our last difference right here between the devices, the 4A lineup, both the 4A and the 4A with 5G only have fast charging, where the Pixel 5 picks up wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is a pretty fantastic feature. You can charge up your Pixel Buds and other wireless devices using your phone. So here are the Intuitu benchmark results right here. You can see we got the Pixel 4a 5G with the score of 35, 13, 25, the Pixel 5 with the score of 37, 21, 91, and the Pixel 4a with the score of 33, 99, 12. 
let's go ahead, let's look at each individual result right here. So first up, you can see our CPU scores. So 90.15.6 for the 4A 5G, 11.03.93 for the Pixel 5, in 10, 32, 81 for the Pixel 4a. So let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail for each device. You can see complete breakdown right here. So we're using the same Snapdragon 765G 5G processor for both the 5 and the 4a with 5G. The Pixel 4a, you can see, we're using a different processor right here. So for the Pixel 4a, we're using the Snapdragon 730G instead. And you can see the complete breakdown. Next, let's go to our GPU options right here. You can see the 4A 5G got a score of 10, 10, 19. The Pixel 5 got a score of 94, 78, 7. The Pixel 4A got a score of 88, 59, 5. And again, different GPUs. So we got the Adreno 620 for the 4A 5G in the Pixel 5. We got the Adreno 618 for the Pixel 4A. So you can see the difference in performance there. Now let's go to our memory. So you can see the memory score right here. 72670 versus 69352 versus 5838. So difference in memory right here. So the Pixel 5a has more memory. This is eight gigs versus the six gigabytes found in both the 4a and the 4a with 5G. But we're even seeing a performance difference and breakdown between both 4a devices. And you can see the scores right there with a nice breakdown. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead, let's look at the UX rating for all the devices. You can see those right there. Android 11 across the board. We got a score of the 4A with 5G, 87480 versus 9765. And then you can see 89.72.8 for the 4A. You can see the breakdown right there. Android 11 across the board again for all the devices. Then we can learn more about the device down here too. You can see some additional hardware details if you want. So 5.81 inches for the screen for the 4A versus 6 for the 5 versus 6.24 for the 4A with 5G. Similar cameras, the 4A with 5G and the Pixel 5 have an additional camera on the back, the wide angle. Different battery capacities as well. So we have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery for the Pixel 5 versus 3,800 for the 4A with 5G versus a 3,000 for the Pixel 4A. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the Geekbench results. Here are the Geekbench 5 results right here. You can see the Pixel 4a 5G is to our left, the Pixel 5 is in the center, and the Pixel 4a is to the right. So on the 4a 5G, you can see our single core score versus our multi-core score right there. So we got a score of 567 for the single, 1323 for multi. For the Pixel 5, we got a score of 566 for the single, and 1580 for the multi-core score. For the 4A, we got a single core score of 530, multi-core score of 1514. Let's go see a complete breakdown right here on all the devices. So you can see our device versus some single core comparisons. And look, we got some of these Google devices already mentioned. So let's go ahead. Let's look at some of those comparisons right there. So you can see the Pixel 4 versus the 4XL versus the 5 versus the 3XL versus the Pixel 3, 2XL, 3A. So nice breakdown. We also see different devices for the Pixel 4A, which is great. Look at all those. So you can get a feel for where these fall in the pack. In case you're wondering too, both the Pixel 5 and the 4A with 5G use the same Snapdragon 765G processor where the Pixel 4 just uses your Snapdragon 730G. So both the Pixel 5 and the 4A with 5G use the Snapdragon 765G. The Pixel 4A uses the 730G. Now let's look at the multi-core score. You can see we have 1323 for the 4A with 5G versus 1580 for the Pixel 5 
verse 15, 14 for the Pixel 4a. And a nice comparison as well with other devices from Google. Or you can see right here for the 4a, we're getting other devices from like Samsung, OnePlus, Xiaomi. A lot of options there. Pretty cool too. You can see the average 1569 for the Pixel 5. So you can kind of get a feel for where they stack up versus previous devices. Show you guys those right here. And go look at some more. So you can see the results. We'll go down further. We have a ton of results for the 4A right there with all those other devices. So that's a quick look at the benchmarks with Geekbench 5. So now we've looked at all three devices and the final question is which Pixel device do we get? Now, let me preface this with saying I used in the past the Pixel 4a as my daily driver for a couple of months. I'm currently still using the Pixel 5 as my daily driver. It's been close to six months. So you think I'd be pretty biased, right? But I'd actually pick the Pixel 4a with 5G if I could only have one of the devices. So it just is the best value out of three, and here's why. With the Pixel 4a with 5G, you still get 5G connection, you get the largest screen size available out of the three, and you pick up a headphone jack, and you get all the internals of the Google Pixel 5, less two gigs of RAM, which isn't really noticeable to the average user, and you're saving a couple hundred dollars. Yes, you don't get wireless charging. Yes, you have to say goodbye to the 90 hertz refresh rate of the Google Pixel 5. But again, I think for most people that's not noticeable and you care more about the camera quality and the battery life. And both of those are fantastic in this device. And it uses the same cameras as the Pixel 5. So basically it's the Pixel 5 XL kinda, minus wireless charging, two gigs of RAM, and you pick up a headphone jack and you lose that screen refresh rate. Again, for most people, I don't think that's gonna matter. I think most people would rather have an extra hundred dollars, couple hundred dollars in their pocket, at least I would. And it's a fantastic device. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them, but the Pixel 4 with 5G takes the value of the Pixel 4a with some of the performance of the Pixel 5. So honestly, you'll be all set with any of these devices, but the Pixel 4a with 5G is the clear winner in my opinion. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.